wedding dress, which I'll reveal later, is $1,000. We'll see how it compares to the cheapest dress that I could find that was still a real dress. So on Timu, I found a $7 dress and a $10 dress, and they both fit in this bag. So, um... We'll see. The challenge here is to determine if a high-priced wedding dress is actually superior to a budget-friendly option. Can a $7 dress actually compete with a $1,000 one? But first, I'm Katie Sauter and I'm a wedding planner and I just got married successfully last month. Woo! If you are getting married and planning it yourself, you might want to check out my totally free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. But if you're just here for the fun, uh, you know, buckle in, bring them for a ride. Could be a good time. Don't forget to slide into those like buttons, DMs, and hit up that subscribe, but keep it PG for me, okay? Now let's try those wedding dresses. I do have scissors. All right, so just so you know, for only $7, there's like no long dresses that I could find. Maybe you could find something long for, for less, but these were all short dresses. All right, so this is the first dress. All right, and I'm gonna go try it on. This is the dress that is $7.58. At least it was for me at the time. I know Timu changes their prices like constantly, but it only had three reviews. Two of them were five stars and one was four stars and the four star said comfy and affordable. Now I say that this dress is, you know, it is very plain. It does have like these cute little bows on the top and they're very soft. So this is actually like very, very comfortable wedding dress, but it's definitely it feels more like a sundress, which kind of makes sense. But I think it's definitely true to the comfy and affordable. Now, I also feel like it does not look very good on me. This is just not, this isn't my style. Cause I, I have, I, I'm like not the skinniest person. So for me, I'm like, I don't like it when it goes tight across here, but for someone who is a lot skinnier, you know, this is actually would be a cute little dress. And even for like a bachelorette party. Now it is not something I feel comfortable going braless in. <laughs> There's no pads. So, you know, if you get a little cold, it's not gonna be a good time. So I would say as far as like danceability, walkability, I think this is pretty danceable. It's very danceable. And I think, um, yeah, I mean, obviously it's very walkable because it's a short dress. <laughs> Short dresses are in, by the way. They they always have been, but it's kind of, maybe not always, but they definitely have been in for a while. As far as material goes, you know, I would give this like a three out of five because it's rolling up at the bottom. I mean, it definitely, it's very, very comfortable, but like it's not, not very fancy material. It feels kind of like a t-shirt. Overall looks, I don't like how it looks on me, so I'm going to give it a one. I feel like this is a cute concept, but for me and how I am, my weight is, I feel like it needs a belt. But let's not lose hope because there's also a $10 dress that will probably look better. I, I hope, let's keep up the hope. Let's move on to that dress. Also pay no attention to my incredibly advanced audio system. I'm not rich. All right, now this is dress two, but uh, I have to say, I like this one a hell of a lot more on me. I think this looks actually <laughs> really cute. So there is only one review on this and it says one star invisible fabric not covering well. Now I do have to admit I needed you, you need something to cover this area but otherwise I actually feel like it does cover you um, but it is it's just slightly see-through so you just have to wear some pastry paste pastries pasties but I actually think this fit is very cute on me and like maybe for you you might want a belt or something but like this is really adorable <laughs> and for for like a summer wedding this this could be this could be really nice for a summer wedding so i love it um the material is definitely cheap but hey you know if you need something on a budget this might just be like the perfect dress so i can't say that like i want to knock it you know like this is pretty adorable i actually might just wear this as a sundress <laughs> you know for whatever reason because i want to but it's very cute it's it's maybe a little itchy like right where it it like rouges in the back i don't know if you can see that but it's like a I don't know, that fabric is kind of rough. I'm very sensitive though to that kind of thing. So you might not be like, there's certain things that I just can't wear because I am so sensitive to details like that. So as far as material goes, I would give this one maybe like a two out of five. I think the materials are very cheap. I don't think it looks necessarily that cheap. 
I mean, it kind of, it's definitely not expensive, <laughs> but it's quite lovely. I actually really love this. I think the floral details are really cute. It is very short in the back. So if you're like a long torso person, you might have some trouble, but I think this is pretty great. Um, overall looks, I would give this one like a four out of five. If I really had no choice and I just wanted that white dress either to go to the courthouse or to a like a inexpensive wedding, you know, something that is affordable. I think this is actually a great choice, especially for the summer. Obviously you'd want to spend the $30 for the next level if you wanted something. Cause all the long dresses on Timu were like $30. I can't explain any of it. I think as far as, you know, danceability, walkability it's pretty it's pretty good i would say this is a pretty you could get down in this i think for overall rating for like all the things considered it is not like a super super formal dress so on the scale of five being the most amazing dress i've ever worn to zero like i hate this this one gets a three for me i think this is nice i think for like for the nine dollars and 19 cents that i spent on it this is actually excellent all right now before we get to the final dress the one that i wore to my own wedding the one thousand dollar boutique dress that i splurged on what we're instead going to mention really fast is that i have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below if you are looking at wedding dresses i mean unless you're looking on timu you definitely want to get your dress about 12 to eight months beforehand because it can take a long time for a dress to be made and then it can take a little bit longer for your alterations and if you are going to dye your dress it's also going to take a little bit longer so check out the link in the description below it it does include some of that so um check it out anyway moving on this is the third dress this is the one thousand dollar dress and i am deeply privileged to be able to afford something like this but um this is incredibly beautiful if i may say so myself i am biased okay this is my wedding dress but it's just oh it's so pretty i do need to get clipped in a little bit but that's it's like oh it's so so beautiful and the train is like the detail it's like everything about it is just it makes me so happy. I am so excited that this is my dress. But yes, for me, the $1,000 is worth it. For you, it might not be. And you know, just because this is my goal does not mean that that is yours. So I do feel that this dress is superior to the other ones that I tried on in like every, every conceivable way. And this also very, very danceable, uh, very walkable, high quality, fits me and makes me feel like 10 pounds lighter. <laughs> Ugh, this feels good. Anyway, what do you think in the comments below? Do you think a $1,000 wedding dress is worth it? I think it depends on who you are. If it's worth it to you, it's worth it to you. That's how I view it. If it's not worth it to you, then it's not worth it to you. I know that a lot of people feel like it's only one day and that's a really good point, but it also is a day that you'll remember the rest of your life. So I think there are certain things that have that value, that intrinsic love, that intrinsic love. And for me, this is one of those things, especially since I'm not the skinniest person and I don't always feel beautiful in my own skin, which is not something that I know like you're supposed to really say on the internet nowadays, but the truth is I don't always feel beautiful and this makes me feel beautiful so i actually at the time of filming this this is a secret but at the time of filming this it's one week until my wedding so when this comes out it will be after my wedding but ah, i'm so excited so what are my final thoughts and recommendations i'm kind of like bleeding over because this is as far at tall as my my camera goes but my final thoughts and recommendations buy your wedding dress about if you're gonna go for something like this buy it about like 12 to 8 to 12 months in advance and um that would be in the free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below i've already mentioned this so i'm just gonna keep moving forward but to you if this is worth it to you then do it but if it's not like that's your prerogative you do what makes you feel beautiful for the amount of money you have now i am deeply privileged to be able to do this but if you're not it's okay i hope that you feel like a princess no matter what if you like my content you might want to also check out 